Reliance Industries has more than $12 billion of debt that will come up for repayment between 2018 and 2020. Now this is huge. This is the highest ever repayment the company will face in any consecutive three-year period. And this is more than a third of the total $31 billion of debt that the company has on its book. The debt has been raised mostly for financing its telecom venture and expansion of petrochemicals and refineries. Now Reliance doesn't want to repay the entire debt that will come up for maturity. It, it has cash of $11 billion which it could have used but it won't. The reason being Reliance has a very good corporate credit rating which is even two notches higher uh, than the sovereign rating. So Reliance can raise debt at a very competitive rate and that is the plan. Reliance will raise fresh debt at much cheaper rates and it can use its cash which can be invested in better and remunerative instruments that will give the company higher returns. Now Reliance will plan the exact thing closer to maturity and it will probably raise bonds in phases as and when maturities come. But surely Reliance is not going to repay the entire amount that will be due over the next three years.